you've asked me to show you how I clean my room. And guys, seriously, you should know better because my room is always perfect. Always. I'm Melissa Maker and I live in the cleanest house in the world. But the reality is, my room does get messy. Really messy. So due to overwhelming popularity, I am here today to answer one of our most asked questions. How do I clean my room? So whether it's your bedroom, your living room, spare room, back room, front room, or even your dorm room, I've got a somewhat quick, somewhat easy routine to clean almost any room in your house. It takes work, but I guarantee you, this is all you need to know. I've actually taken a chunk off of my company's 59 point checklist that details how to clean a room and at the end of the video, I'll give you a URL to visit so that you can have your very own room cleaning printable that will remind you of everything we covered here today. I have three rules about cleaning and trust me, these rules will help save you so much time. So listen up. Rule number one, you need to be in the right headspace. I don't know what you need to do to get there, but if I'm not in the mood for cleaning, I literally waste time doing everything else but cleaning. Rule number two, use the right tools and the right products and have them with you while you work. And the final rule is method. Have a plan and that's why I'm gonna share my checklist with you so that you know what to do and in what order to do it. Here's what you'll need to clean your room. Microfiber cloths for dusting, cleaning, and polishing. I'd say to have three. Glass cleaning cloth for mirrors and windows, if you feel like cleaning your windows. A vacuum, and of course a mop as well if you have hardwood floors. And for cleaners, you'll need an all-purpose cleaner, a glass cleaner, you can throw in a disinfectant for your points of contact, and a garbage bag and a bag for recyclables. You'll also want a mop pole and a hair elastic, I'll explain why later. And fresh linens if you intend on making your bed, or at least strip your beds, wash your sheets, and then put your linens back in your room so you're ready to go. Now, you're gonna have stuff in your room that I don't have in mine and vice versa. So if you have something that requires special attention, get the right product for it. Otherwise, the list I just shared with you should suffice. You're going to do three circles or waves around your room. The first wave is going to involve picking up garbage, putting things where they belong, AKA tidying, and quick organization. That way, when you move on to the second wave, you'll already be working in a tidy space. The second wave involves the actual cleaning. So, you know, dusting, wiping, disinfecting your points of contact. And the final wave involves vacuuming, taking out the garbage and double checking your work to ensure that you haven't missed anything. Alrighty, here it is. My bedroom in all its messy glory. This is what it really looks like after not being cleaned for about two weeks. For your first wave and all waves, you need to pick a starting point and then you work clockwise from there. I'm going to make my door the start point or 12 o'clock. I'll tidy the room here, so I'm going to work section by section as I go along and I'm finding things that need to be thrown out, put away and organized. If you find something that doesn't belong in your room, leave it just outside your door or place it in a laundry basket. That way you can deal with it once you're done cleaning. A great tip I always use is that I line my items up parallel or perpendicular to the edges of my furniture. You can bring your garbage bag around with you and toss things in as you go along. You can throw dirty clothing on the floor in a pile and clean clothing on the bed. That way you can quickly fold it before you move on. To round out the first wave, finish up by folding those clothes on your bed and then putting them away before you move on. Take a microfiber cloth and affix it to the mop pole using a hair elastic. Now I'll walk around the entire room cleaning away any cobwebs I encounter along the way. To tackle dust bunnies, I'll run the cloth over all of my baseboards as well. Using the same 12 o'clock starting point, we're going to start wiping everything from top to bottom including frames, mirrors, lamps, tabletops, fingerprints, points of contact, and everything else in between. I'm using an all-purpose cleaner for all of the items I'm cleaning, 
And like I said, you can use a disinfectant, but you'll have to budget more time since the disinfectant will need to sit for a few minutes in order to work effectively. Slowly but surely, we work clockwise around the room. Stay focused and don't get distracted. I find it really helpful to have my phone off and some good music on. That really helps. Final wave, y'all. Take all that stuff that doesn't belong in this room out of this room. And you can deal with that after you're done cleaning. The final wave involves nothing more than a good vacuuming. This is the secret sauce to a really clean looking room. Your room doesn't need to be perfectly clean, but if you have nice vacuum cut lines on your floor, you will fool the masses. Not too shabby at all. I love having a clean bedroom. It seems to make me sleep even more soundly. Only I could get a better pillow. The best part, it took less than 30 minutes using my three wave approach and I didn't get distracted. Here is a side by side comparison of my room before and after. Good work. You asked, I answered, and now my room is clean and yours can be too. You'd be really surprised at how much you can accomplish in less than half an hour, no matter how messy your room is. Just stay away from the usual distractions, focus, and before you know it, you'll have a tidy room too. As promised, here's where you can go to download the free room cleaning printable, cleanmyspace.com slash printables. Remember to like the video if it was helpful for you and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Button's right over there and it looks like this and says subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.